So we've spent a lot of time talking about how incredibly useful Dolly can be, but today I wanted to talk about the biggest weaknesses it has and why I don't expect Dolly to stay on the top of the market for very long. And real quick, the footage that you see in the background is just a recording of the very first time that I ever used Dolly. I thought it was important to document, and I think it's very fitting for the title of this video, because this is probably what most people's first experience with Dolly kind of looks like. But anyway, let's dive in. To put it simply, Dolly's biggest weakness is itself. And I mean that very literally. Dolly's own policies are a detriment to its own growth. And when you read the policy initially, there's nothing there that would surprise you. Typically PC stuff, no torture, no blood, no gore, no sex, no violence, and you know, basically anything that would normally get you banned. But the problem is, OpenAI's interpretation of these policies is extremely vague and encompasses things that most normal people simply would not expect. Here's how it works. You can type anything you want into the prompt, but if you type in something that Dolly thinks is inappropriate, your account gets a strike. And you'll get a message telling you, you broke the rules, and if you keep searching inappropriate things, your account is gonna get suspended. And here is where we encounter the first problem. Your strike counter is invisible. There is a secret number somewhere that counts how many times you've gotten this warning message, and after a certain arbitrary number of times, your account automatically just gets punished and becomes unavailable. I know people who got suspended after a few weeks, after a few months, I even know a guy who got suspended on the first day. But essentially, nobody knows how many warnings they have, or how many more warnings are gonna get your count scrapped. Second, they do not tell you what part of your prompt gave you a strike. I've literally typed in massive prompts like professional, commercial, promotional, digital, ukiyo art painting of a beautiful young Japanese princess wearing a big magical hat and a dark blue dress fighting against the god of war drawn by Katsushika Hoku trending on art station. I press enter and I'm quickly told you are an inappropriate person stop searching these vulgar things or we'll suspend your account. But I have legitimately zero way of knowing what part of my search was inappropriate which basically guarantees you're gonna accidentally type in one of those words again and get another strike and the cycle will continue until you are inevitably banned forever. Problem three. There is no official list of banned words from Dali. At least none that I have been able to find. So, you cannot learn from your strikes. You have no idea how many strikes you have. You have no idea how many strikes you have left. And they don't give you a list of words that get your account striked. No warnings, no pattern. You are just inevitably gonna get your account canned after making X number of mistakes. Problem four. They keep adding new words to the ban list every day without telling you. I'm not even joking when I say I've typed in prompts before that were perfectly fine. And literally the next day, the exact same prompt gives me a strike for quote unquote being inappropriate. True story, me and the homies were in the official Dolly Discord trying to figure out how to generate beautiful female characters. Now we kind of assumed that you weren't allowed to look up things like boobs or big boobs or breast or big breast, but we all figured out that you could use this word voluptuous in order to get that beautiful fantasy female character with big boobs. So it was awesome. You know, it's not like she was missing clothes or anything. She's wearing a full dress. I don't see anything inappropriate about a girl with big boobs. We all started to use voluptuous to get the character designed that we wanted. Everyone was happy, and then Voluptuous got banned. Then we were like, okay, and you know, some people probably got scrapped that day. We started to reach for the bottom of the barrel and found workarounds like Busty. And every time we found a non-sexualized prompt that successfully generated beautiful female characters, that prompt would get banned a few days later, and every day new words get banned. Like, I'm not even joking. Some of the most recent words that got banned were Voluptuous, Cleavage, Busty, Breast and bra. Now it is clear to me whoever is in charge of Dolly's banned word list really doesn't want you to see beautiful slender women with big boobs. Doesn't matter if they're naked or wearing full Victorian dresses. And while I believe that is a crime against humanity, why in the world is it that almost every word or combination of word that describes the female body is banned, but everything describing the male body seems to be totally fine? The most ridiculous example I've seen of this hypocrisy is in the word succubus, which basically means a beautiful seductive female demon. That word is completely banned. Yet incubus, which is the male equivalent of a succubus, is completely fine. So sexism, I guess. There are so many contradictions in the banned word list within Dali. And they don't just ban words, they also ban specific combinations of words. So you can type in thighs 
but you cannot type in thick fat thighs. In fact, the most ridiculous combination of words I've found is literally in the front page of the Dolly website itself. There is an example with rats in a swimsuit. They literally tell you to try this prompt out. However, you will get a strike if you type in the phrase wearing tiny swimsuit followed by virtually any female word. However, if you replace the female word with an animal like rats or dogs or cats, then sometimes you don't get a strike. So I guess furries are welcomed, but we are not. And just so you know, I'm not hating on you furries, I'm just expressing my jealousy. Now I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking. Well it only affects you if you're being inappropriate and I don't plan to do that, so it's not gonna affect me. But unfortunately, you are wrong. Because I guarantee there are things that you enjoy in art that Dolly has labeled inappropriate. And you have no way of knowing or figuring out what that is. I learned this the hard way when I typed in a cool idea I had for mixing a magician with a modern soldier. And when I typed in Dark Wizard Sniper, Dolly told me I was disgusting and my account got another strike. Now, personally, I don't believe that I'm an inappropriate person from wanting to see beautiful, large-chested, dark wizard snipers with thick, fat thighs. And if you agree with me, you're probably a normal person. So if you are a normal person, here is a list of words that me and the homies have learned will get you striked on Dolly. In addition to virtually everything about any part of the female body, firing, shooting, Shooting stars, guns, lever action rifles, long rifles, carbines, submachine guns, assault rifles, revolvers, missiles, scythes, machetes, scimitar, swords, knives, war, nuclear, terror, a superhero special attack, shirtless, fighting, headshot photograph, Mexican bandits, sheets, dead, sexy, sec C, corpse, furry art, fursona, Pakistani, Unicycle. British ape. Well, it's a good thing I only look up Canadian apes. Skull on fire. Pepe. By David Lynch. By John Carpenter. By Quentin Tarantino. Hell by Salvador Dali. A bus that decides whether you go to heaven or hell. Foam latex. Star Wars. Blood. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Clockwork Orange. Droog. Seppuku. Dictator, Soviet era poster, USSR, the ugly duckling, beating, long shot photograph, hillbilly, and sweaty Forza player. Now again, this list changes and new words are added all the time and in some cases previously banned words might sometimes get unbanned. But my point is, this list is arbitrary. It's random. It's always changing. I mean, if things like a British ape and Quentin Tarantino get you striked, then it's just a matter of time until normal things like Red Riding Hood and Michael Bay and Spoons get your account striked as well. And the worst part about all this is these arbitrary rules are directly affecting the quality and ruining the results of the AI. Remember, every word in Dolly is a cluster of related concepts and ideas. Every time a word gets banned, Dolly appears to lose access to that entire relationship cluster. And that's when it gets confused and starts to give you mush. The clearest example I've found is when you search for something like a crossbow. Now, according to Dolly's policies, I am not allowed to show anything or any image that may have slipped past their policies. And I'm not trying to get banned, so you will just have to imagine what I'm talking about. A crossbow from a distance looks very similar to a gun. In fact, it's got a lot of similar characteristics. It's a pistol grip, fires a projectile, and is a weapon of war. Everything I just said in that last sentence is a banned word. So at least to my knowledge, you can type in crossbow without getting striked. However, I'm pretty sure that is an accident. Because if you search crossbow, it's kinda sad, but you can tell the AI wants to draw a crossbow, but because it's so closely related to everything banned, it no longer has access to those banned relationships and usually just ends up drawing a random mush, or maybe if you're lucky, a stick. The more arbitrary rules get added to the system, the more it's going to interrupt, confuse, and limit the AI's ability to give the artist a proper clear quality image that most of us are gonna want. Ultimately my point is it just feels kind of sad that the biggest obstacle to the most powerful art tool ever created on the planet is not a limit in technology it's a limit in policies. But here is the irony in all this. I mean I'm sorry but if you are developing Dolly and are listening to this right now then listen carefully. At the moment Dolly is protected by the fact that nobody can match it in speed and quality but your competition is catching up fast. Mid-journey, stable 
Fusion and Crayon are getting better and closer to your quality every month. On the contrary, the quality in Dali seems to be getting worse. More words are getting banned, and more images are coming out blurry because of it. And the range of art that artists can generate continues to shrink. It seems like more effort is being put into banning new words than improving the quality of the actual art generated. And you have to understand that Google Party is going to be released very soon. It already looks like it's going to match or surpass the quality of your AI in Dali. And your quality is really your only defense against the competition. You cannot afford to keep handicapping yourselves when your competition is on the verge of wiping you off the map. You do not have the luxury or the time to afford wasting resources like this. Stop playing the word games. Stop hiding the ban list. Be more transparent and stop frustrating your most dedicated users. And stop trying to control what people want to make. Just focus on making the best product as good as possible. Because the competition is only gonna get tougher from here. I hope that helps. And if you join me next video, I'll talk to you about easy things that Google Google Party, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, and Crayon can do in order to defeat Dali. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.